Richard, we have a question from Ann in Massachusetts who's got a high electric bill. Now, stay with me here because I know you're not the electrician. But she also thinks she hears her well pump coming on more frequently, right. and she's wondering if the two are related. Well, I would imagine they are. If, with a well system, if, if every time you open up the faucet, you don't want this pump to come on and off because it's going to make the pump go south in a short order, and it's going to be the symptom that Ann talks about. How do these systems work? Let's take you through it. So you've got water under the ground, and it's going to be 50 feet down. It could be 500 feet down. At the bottom of it, you've got a foot valve down here with a little strainer and a check valve. And that tries to keep water in this pipe that comes up through the wellhead mm -hmm. and comes to this pump. Now, this pump sits and listens to one thing, a pressure switch right here. You might ask it for, to be 50 pounds of pressure. Now, every time, if you only had that rig, every time you open up a faucet, you get what Ann has which means the pump will be on and pump will be off. Okay, and so you're saying this thing sits in the house? That's right. It sits in the basement, but they also make submersibles like this. This is a pump that sits down at the very bottom of the well and puts this pumping mechanism instead of in the house, but down at the bottom of the well. So this will push the water push up, up, whereas this will pull right. it through the well. Okay. So to get around that thing coming on and off, it's been, we've been chasing it for years. In the earliest stage, you'd have a galvanized tank like this. Now, you look at a tank like this and you say, oh, it must be that the pump's going to push in here and we're just going to come out through the top. Right. But you're really using this tank to store some water and to sort of to compress air. Now, here's, you fill it up, here's air, and the water comes up here and it's pushing this air and getting it, it's building up the pressure in here. Mm -hmm. So now it would shut off at 50 or 60 pounds pressure. Right. Now when you open up that faucet. She turns that on. That air is going to push back against the water and push it out through the faucet, thereby leaving that pump off. So this is now doing the pump's job. It's That's actually right. getting storage, which is being the ground and giving us That's pressure. That's right. But over time, what happened with these old tanks was the water and air would interface. Yep. And the water would absorb the air. H2O would take the O. And right. what, you lose your charge? That's right. So now we become waterlogged and you'd be right back to where you were. So there's always an air fitting right here and you try to recharge it. Mm -hmm. In the 50s or the 60s, they invented these type of tanks right here. Now there'd be a tank maybe this size, but what's inside, no longer could the air and water directly touch. You'd see the air fitting here and the air was sitting here behind a neoprene bladder. Mm -hmm. The water would, the pump would come on, it would compress this way. Yep. And then it would, the same thing would happen when the pump shut off, it would just go the other way. So same idea, and so as long as you didn't have the water in the air touch, you wouldn't lose that charge. That's right. And then the same thing happens with these are the fiberglass versions that have a bladder or a, a balloon inside, and it really does the same thing. The water's trying to compress the air. All right, so I understand how it works, but I still have to get back to Ann. Okay. <laughs> what do you think is wrong with well, Ann's system? the good news is I think her pump is fine. I think she's got water in the well. Uh -huh. But she's either got an old tank like this that is now fully saturated, going right back to the early days, or if she's got either of these two tanks, the bladder has either failed or leaked or the balloon has failed. And because of that, now she's turning on a faucet. This is running way more than That's it right. should, running right. up her electricity That's bill. Absolutely.